for workers and small businesses, creating millions of new, good-paying jobs. We're going to get rid of regulations that send jobs overseas, and we are going to make it easier for young Americans to get the credit they need to start a small business and pursue their dream. On education, so important, we are going to give students choice and allow charter schools to thrive. We are going to end tenure policies that reward bad teachers and hurt our great good teachers. My opponent wants to deny students' choice and opportunity all to get a little bit more money from the education bureaucracy. She doesn't care how many young dreams are dashed or destroyed, and they're destroyed. Young people are destroyed before they even start. We are going to work closely with African American parents and children. We are going to work with the parents' students. We are going to work with everybody in the African American community, in the inner cities, and what a big difference that is going to make. It's one of the things I most look forward to doing. This means a lot to me, and it's going to be a top priority in a Trump administration. On health care, we are going to repeal and replace the disaster called Obamacare. Countless Americans have been forced into part-time jobs. Premiums are about to jump by double digits yet again. And just this week, Aetna announced it is pulling out of the exchanges all over, but also in North Carolina. We are going to replace this disaster with reforms that give you choice and freedom and control in health care at a much, much lower cost. You'll have much better health care at a much lower cost, and it will happen quickly. On political corruption, we are going to restore honor to our government. In my administration, I'm going to enforce all laws concerning the protection of classified information. No one will be above the law. I am going to forbid senior officials from trading favors for cash by preventing them from collecting lavish speaking fees through their spouses when they serve. I'm going to ask my senior officials to sign an agreement not to accept speaking fees from corporations with a registered lobbyist for five years after leaving office or from any entity tied to a foreign government. Finally, we are going to bring our country together. It is so divided. We are going to bring it together. We are going to do it by emphasizing what we all have in common as Americans. We're going to reject bigotry, and I will tell you, the bigotry of Hillary Clinton is amazing. She sees communities of color only as votes and not as human beings worthy of a better future. It's only votes. It is only votes that she sees. And she does nothing about it. She's been there forever. And look at where you are. If African American voters give Donald Trump a chance by giving me their vote, the result for them 
will be amazing. Look how badly things are going under decades of democratic leadership. Look at the schools. Look at the poverty. Look at the 58% of young African Americans not working. 58%. It is time for a change. What do you have to lose by trying something new? I will fix it. Watch. I will fix it.